Hey guys, I was finally able to fix the lag I had with Fraps in this resolution. I still have a bit of lag sometimes, but it's still manageable and now I can record some more bossing video so we can change things up on this daily uploading event. And Nexon still hasn't given us the bonus potential cell, I'm still waiting on that so I can get 21% attack on my weapon and on my sub weapon as well. So hopefully Nexon gives that to me soon. I ended up recording a couple more bosses last night, so if you guys want to see more bossing, just let me know down in the comments and make sure to like the video too. And I wanted to start with what I think is the most annoying Chaos Rudibus boss. For those who don't really know how this boss works, I'll just tell you some quick things about it. In the beginning, you pretty much have to lower his health down to where he splits into two clowns. Once that happens, you have to have the opposite color hat of the clown you're attacking. For example, if you have a red hat, then you can attack the blue clown to do damage. But if you attack the red clown with a red hat, then you heal him instead of dealing damage. And also, Nexon ended up changing it a while back, where not only do the clowns switch colors, but they also switch their HP bars, which is where the annoying part is. Some runs are so awesome where I can go like, you know, the whole run with getting the correct color hat, and sometimes I just end up getting the wrong hat every single time, and I'm just sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting, so that can get very annoying. I even kill my phantom sometimes if I see an opportunity to do damage after waiting over 10 minutes for the right color hat and HP bar. So this boss can be pretty annoying if you don't get the right color hat. And the last thing you have to do for this boss is to make sure you either kill them at the same time with one of your attacks, or be able to kill one and then kill the other one a few seconds later. I'm not sure how much time you have between them, but it's only a few seconds, so make sure you get both of their HP bars down as low as possible. And if you mess up and kill one way too early, then it's going to respawn with a bit more HP, so you're going to have to lower it down again. So just make sure you time your attacks perfectly, and I'm sure you'll be able to kill it. But yeah, I'm just glad this run wasn't too bad. I was able to record the other two bosses and the recording went well, so I'll be uploading those, you know, in the future. And since we're on the topic of bosses, I've been getting a lot of private messages and comments about how to make money on MapleStory. I try my hardest to give you guys advice, but Maple has really gone to the point where if you're barely starting, you're going to have to use a lot of real life money. But some quick advice I can give you all is to take advantage of events. That's probably like the number one thing you should do. The anniversary update that we just had was a great example of taking advantage of these events. You could go farm a bunch of leaves and then sell them for some quick cash. I think I ended up buying over 50 bill worth of leaves during that event and I helped a lot of people who grinded at Evil World and other places by just buying their leaves so they could afford their own gear. Nexon also has those attendance events where if you, you know, just kill 300 monsters you end up getting a stamp. And on the last day you get a unique scroll so that's one way to get you know some of your gear to unique you can also sell scroll services to others like protection scroll shield scrolls unique potential scrolls and even Golic scrolls too you just have to be able to provide collateral because some people really don't want to give up their items to just a random person so definitely try to have some collateral at least and just try to work up a trustworthy reputation and that way other people will come to you if they need any type of scrolls and you can always make some you know extra cash that way there's also one thing that many people don't seem to go for, and that's partying with your friends to take down certain bosses. Nowadays, everyone expects to be able to solo a boss overnight, and it just doesn't work that way. These bosses aren't unbeatable, and a full party of people willing to work together for it should be able to take down some of the bosses in the game. I'm not saying you're going to be able to kill all of them, but you could at least do some so that you can get started in making money. Best part about some of the bosses now is that they have their own drops, so everyone in the party will be able to walk out with their own set of drops. You just have to practice doing these bosses. I remember when I first started doing these, I took about like 50 tries before I was even able to kill it once. And it just takes practice and commitment. You can't really expect everything to happen overnight. I'm not saying it will be easy. It will take some time, but I'm sure you guys can do it. And if you play in Belican or Nova, feel free to message me on my Phantom. Sometimes I have open spots, so just, you know, send me a message and I'll see what I can do for you. But yeah, just get some friends, go kill some bosses, and I'm sure you guys can, you know, work your way up to get stronger and kill even more bosses. I mean, even I started out like that many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> Back when group bossing was actually a thing and people wanted to boss together. I was able to join a Zack bossing group and selling those helmets would help me get stronger. You know, I would always save money on the side for when any new boss came out. I could upgrade as fast as possible in order to kill whatever came next. I did that for Zack, Horntail, Empress, and so on. I wish I could give you more advice, but sadly Maple has just changed a lot and sometimes you either have to get extremely lucky or go to 7-Eleven, buy an X, and sell it to me. <laughs> You know, hopefully Nexon changes, but I mean, it's really too late. I think the game has gone down even more than it was like a couple years ago. Back when I first started, my main concern was looting mesos from monsters in order to buy pots. And I think the most expensive thing back then for me was a 10 attack work club and ill beast. 
So if any of you watching have some extra advice for new players, feel free to share your methods on making money down in the comments below. So who knows what will happen? We always have Maple Story 2, right? That game looks pretty cool from what I've seen so far, so maybe we'll all switch over to Maple Story 2 when it comes out. I really don't see Maple surviving another two years, especially with the way it's going, so... I mean, we're gonna have to wait and see, but hopefully it's still around. I mean, I've been playing for a long time, so hopefully it's still around, but we'll see. Alright, I think that's enough rambling for today. <laughs> This was a pretty long video, so I just wanted to talk about some random things. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments or private message me on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. Links are down in the description. And yeah, more daily uploads coming up. I'm going to leave the rest of the video playing. I'm not sure if I want to speed it up, so if it's speeding up, it'll probably be done by now. If not, you guys can watch the remaining of it. Hopefully you enjoyed this bossing video. Let me know down in the comments if you want more. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.
Oh man, I was so glad I could finally use the resolution and fraps at the same time without lagging. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that bossing video. But yeah, we're going to continue the daily uploading. And then of course, more bossing videos. Go check out my previous video where I'm scrolling my dual blade mask with the 10 all stat scrolls. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.